on the air today. The men who soon will be the air corvette. Today we hire now the flaws and our king in the crazy old thing. But tomorrow we fly, we'll be rolling the sky. It's meant the future age. A flying navigator for a bombardier. When we get wings in the air, we'll be the kings of the air. The nation cheers, the world repeats. A man who won, where the air comes Now, you boys aren't helping Scrapper and Danny any by refusing to tell me what you know. We don't want to say anything, sir, until we see Mr. Bolton. Very well. I'm flying to headquarters. You'll come with me, and I'll send you to Mr. Bolton. The telephone line's been repaired, sir, and the operator has Mr. Bolton for you. Thanks. Hello, Mr. Bolton. This is Captain Carson. I'm calling from Major Elliott's office. I have bad news for you. He's dead. Murdered. Murdered? Who did it? The black hangman? What? Scrapper and Danny? Well, that's impossible. They wouldn't murder anyone. Besides, the Major is their best friend. Major Elliott's secretary saw Scrapper and Danny come from the Major's office. They've run away in a training plane. For us. Yeah. Maybe if we pretended we were hurt, they'd give us a lift the rest of the way into town. No, they'd ask us a lot of questions. We've got to get into town to warn Mr. Bolton about the black hangman. Major Elliott said that the baggage car's open. No sign of anyone around. The pilot must have bailed out. Let's get going. Number 10 is right on our heels. Aboard! I hope we can square ourselves for wrecking that plane. Don't worry about us. Mr. Bolton, for one. Oh, uh, boy! trying to get to town. Yeah, we haven't done anything wrong. How'd you get in here? We crawled in when you stopped back there. Oh. Oh. Heck of it, eh? It must have been that plane crash. We ran out of gas. 
Well, the conductor's got to hear about this. Well, now, wait a minute, mister. We're trying to get to town to save a man's life. If the conductor finds out about it, he'll make us hang around and tell the cops about the plane crash. Well, what's the beef? I thought you said you didn't do anything wrong. We didn't, but the cops will take up so much time that, well, maybe by the time we get there, our friend will be dead. Yeah, well, what's going to happen to him? The black hangman's on his way to kill him. The black hangman? Listen, are you trying to rip me? I'm not going to lose my job for giving you two guys a free ride. Come on. <laughs> Hitchhiker walk if we have to to get to Mr. Bolton. Mr. Bolton. James, zombie. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Where's Captain Carson? He's at headquarters, but he's coming over here. He's bringing Mr. Gall with him. He'll be along any minute. Aren't Danny and Scrapper here yet? No. And I haven't heard from him. I'm worried. I thought they'd come to me. Something must have happened. I'm sure they wouldn't go to anyone else. Well, they'll fly here like homing pigeons. I guess maybe they... Well, Arthur, you and I are the only ones left now. The only ones, George. But I understand the black hangman didn't kill Bill Elliott. Who did it then? I'm sure the boys are innocent. Is this Captain Carson? Yes, Mr. Bolton. I'm glad to meet you. Same here. The three of us will tell you anything you want to know. Thank you. There's nothing to tell. The last time we saw Danny and Scrapper was when we were going to go to bed. That's right, after Mr. Bolton left. Danny was feeling swell again. He was sure Mr. Bolton would fix everything. That doesn't sound like a murderer, does it, Captain? No, but suppose they saw Elliot. He told them even you couldn't help them. It were true. It isn't proof of murder. It's a motive. Collins and McKay were the only strangers at the office. They left their fingerprints on a book and used to knock out the secretary. They were seen running away from the crime. They stole a plane in which to make their escape. Two and two add up, Mr. Bolton. Well, this time it adds up to the wrong answer. Danny and Scrapper wouldn't murder anybody. I'm sure of that. And when we have a chance to talk to the boys, I'm positive that they can prove their innocence. Have you any idea where they might be found? Sooner or later, they'll try to find their way here. Although, if they're guilty, none of us will ever see them again. Well, if they should get in touch with you, I... Don't worry. We're as anxious to have this cleared up as you. I'll advise them to have a talk with you. Thank you, Mr. Bolton. I think that will be the best thing to do. Think the boys will come here, George? Of course they will. Won't it be dangerous with the police watching the place? Danny and Scrapper are too smart to run into the cops. They'll probably come through that door. It leads into the basement of that old warehouse on the next street. We was holding out in that basement when we first ran into Mr. Bolton. Well, George, I've got to go. I'm late for an appointment. See you later, Arthur. Gee, Mr. Bolton, I'm getting worried. I wish we'd hear from Danny and Scrapper. Police think we killed Major Elliott. Well, that's bad. Well, it ain't good. Maybe we ought to tell them we didn't do it. That chance we'd have of making them believe us. What'll we do? Take a run out, Potter? Not till we see Mr. Bolton. Oh, well, the cops will be there waiting for us. The cops are no cops. We've got to tell Mr. Bolton about the black hangman. accident. Am I glad to see you, too. Don't believe everything you read, Mr. Bolton. We knew you didn't kill the Major. Of course we didn't. It was that Nazi spy, the Black Hangman. And he's after you next. The Schwarzenegger, eh? Grab a truck. The truck will fall. 
Der Schwarze Henker believes there's less chance of its being trailed. He's smart. He's acting just like we want him to. Yeah, but the black hangman isn't smart enough to know he's hanging himself. And that we are holding the rope. Yeah. But Kobenfuhrer, why do you take these risks? You have Gestapo agents for such work. Who knows anything about us except that we are ghost pilots? That's why we took the job. So his reputation would protect us. And Gorg really has a good one. I have told you before, Bruder, finding the secret of Ankerban is far too important to be left to underlings. Das Reich holds me responsible to lay a report of our progress to Berlin. Pick up the Schwarzer Hanker. He'll be waiting for you and Tanner in the alley next to the old warehouse on Front Street. Front Street? Isn't that near Bolton's? Yeah. That's the truth, Mr. Bolton. That's just what happened. Well, it certainly doesn't give us much to work on to prove your innocence. I'll say it doesn't. I guess it would have been better had you stayed with Elliot until the police came. Maybe it would, but then we couldn't have warned you about the Black Hangman. Police Department, give me the 7th Precinct. Don't call the cops. We were going to the cops after seeing you. But now, with them thinking we killed the Major... All the more reason for giving yourselves up. And we're going to tell everything. This is George Bolton. I'd like to speak with Captain Carson. Oh. But when he comes in, tell him the two cadets that he wants are at my place. Yes. Major Elliot said that the Black Hangman was after a charge of Ankerbahn. That's right. Well, we'll have to get ready for our unwelcome visitor. Danny, get my gun out of the drawer and put it on the desk. What are you going to do? If it's a charge of Ankerbahn the Black Hangman is after, we'll have to try to oblige him. Corby. We got here as fast as we could. I wish he wouldn't pull that phony German.